Welcome back to Let's Play Farmer 4 Genealogy of the Holy War. And no, your eyes do not lie. Sell us this level 20. What did I do? Well, his three you slim sword should be give you a hint. I boss smashed Danan. I also did a bit of it with um V to get her up to par. Delmud and Lester. Can't really do it with anybody else because Arthur will kill him, Yohava will die, Julia is unpredictable, Oifi doesn't need it, and Iris two kids can kick enough the heavy lead and all that stuff. As for Celis, I'll be able to promote him next chapter. Yay! That means I can not use him as much. Keep him on the ground. Help him keep up with stuff. And all that hoo hockey! Whatever! Let's take care of Dane and I'm sick of his mug. Finish him! Oh, you're dead! <coughs> Lord Alvis! Your Majesty! Yes, yeah, suck it up and die, big boy. And I'll level up for Arthur. Hit points, skill, speed, magic. That works, I guess. Need some luck, is what you need. Alright, Celis! Subdue! Celis, very well done. Isaac has been liberated thanks to you. Living, you've made it back already? Yeah, I just got back. Celis, the world is at a very volatile stage right now. Huh? What do you mean? Fifteen years have passed since Lord Alvis unified the continent. The early days of Empire weren't actually all that bad. Initially, Emperor Alvis applied constitutional law to govern the people. It was a bit constraining, but it was a peaceful time in Ukraine's history. But several years back, the Emperor had a complete about face. He became very rigid in his rule and adopted oppressive governing tactics. Now, with the ominous lop, now the ominous lop sect is back, and their influence has spread across the land. Sacrificial rituals have also reappeared. Children all over the, or all over, are being rounded up for the resurrection of the Loptian Lord. And anyone who attempts to rise up is either enslaved or executed. It's obvious now that they're attempting to restore the Lopt Empire. Are you serious? So the rumors I've heard are all true. Isaac is better off than most places. It sounds like Danan's two sons didn't go, didn't go through with any of the child hunts. <sighs> Uprisings have sprung up all over the continent, but not, not a one has gotten anywhere. None of them stand a chance against the Empire. The world is in a desperate need of a savior, and I think you're the and you're the one, Celis. You are the only one who has the power to pull it off. Whoa, wait a minute, I have nothing near what it takes. You kidding boy, you're level twenty now. You can kick arse and take names and chew it as bubblegum. It's your duty, Celis. You are Empress Theodore's firstborn son, the older brother to Prince Julius. As a descendant of St. Hyme, you have an obligation to lead your crusaders and rid the world of darkness. Yeah, but Celis, you do have what it takes. You just don't realize it yet. You're of Baldo lineage. Once you get a hold of the Holy Tearfing, you'll have enough power to reach the heavens. But... Celis, it is the will of the gods. Your father was a victim of foul play, and now you must finish what he started. You need to stay focused, Celis. You got me? Yes, I do. If this is my destiny, I shall go forth wherever the gods lead me. You'll come to realize that fate is susceptible to change. It doesn't center on one person. Sigurd left much behind for you. Most importantly, his friends, I being one of them. You can credit your father's kindness for bringing you so many good people to your side. My father was loved and trusted by so many. I just hope I can live up to that. You'll be just fine, Celis. Okay, we need to make Leinster our next destination. The son of your father's good friend Quan took a stand against the government and master, but he's in dire need of backup. We can leave Isaac in the hands of the people. We better get moving. We'll meet up with Prince Shannon somewhere down the line. Gotcha! Alright, finally out of that chapter. Word spread of the Liberation Army under Imperial Prince Celis, instilling a sense of courage in those still suffering under the Empire's tyrant, tyrannical rule. As a result, Uprisings broke out in almost every corner of the continent. However, many lacked solid leadership and were easily crushed by the Empire. Casualties at the hands of the Imperial troops were enormous. In the Kingdom of Leinster and the Tharsia Peninsula, 
Quan's son, Prince Li, assembled a resistance force with Finn's assistance. But they suffered a crushing defeat before King Bloom's massive army, and found themselves stranded in enemy territory. The Yu Desert was administered by a Latian sectarian named Kutavatsa from the Yi Shrine, stationed in the oasis town of Darna was Bramzel, a former merchant, and Jabaro, commander of a mercenary squad. Prince Ishtor and the mighty and the highly revered General Liza of protected Melgen Castle, while Duke Repner's son, King Bloom, was at the capital and ouster with his niece, a young mage named Tinny. Celis was all set to depart Rivo and lead the warriors of Isaac's Liberation Army on a rescue mission to distant Leinster. Each warrior put aside his and her individual concerns as they embraced the new challenge before them. Chapter 7 Crossing the Desert Leinster Castle Finn, how are we doing? Have you heard from the advance party? No, I haven't. I'm afraid no one survived the Alster raid. Prince Leaf, we've lost our entire fighting force. That can't be. All along I thought we had a chance here. Grr! I'll take that bloom on myself if I have to. Prince Leaf, calm down. We're not through yet. Levin is sending Sir Celis' Liberation Army our way. We must hold out until they arrive. The Imperial Prince Celis. They say he's the son of my father's good friend Sir Sigurd and Empress Theodore. I must meet him. If we team up, there still may be hope for our for the opposed ma oppressed masses. That's right. Besides, if we lost you now, everything the troops fought and died for would be lost too. We should abandon this castle at once and go find cover west of here near the church. Yeah, that may just be our only option right now. All right, we need to hold out as long as we can, at least until Prince Celis arrives. Why can't you take that small castle? Are you putting any effort out there? Yes, sir. However, we are having great difficulties breaking your line of defense. I don't want to hear it. You can capture Leinster Castle, and you do it now! Isaac's rebel army is going to be here before you know it! Yes, sir. We will carry out our raid immediately, sir. Boy, that place was loaded, just like everyone said. This is the best haul I've had in months. But this isn't the time to be taking in the view. I've got to get a move on. Hey, hold up a second. I don't care about anything except the sword. Now hand it over. Forget it. You think you just freeload off my hard work? That sword wasn't easy to come by. If you want it, you just try and get it. Hey, wait. The treasure hall has been raided by thieves! They got the Belmung! Well, what are you doing here? Get after them! But Kutuzov! Shouldn't you be able to stop them in their tracks with your black magic? My book of Fenrir is missing. I have some men looking for it, but it is yet to turn up. I see. Well, I'll take my squad and a few mercenaries to go in pursuit then. Kutuzov, rest assured we will recover the stolen goods. Oh crappy, not more dark mages. Rival. We have this huge desert to cross before we reach Leinster? That's right. And with the Yeet Shrine falling under the Lopsex jurisdiction, the desert is crawling with dark mages who will attack without any provocation. It's no wonder now people refer to the Yeet Desert as the Desert of Death. That's gotta make it tough for travelers. There must be some way to capture Yeet Shrine. <laughs> I thought you'd say that. But there is there is a way, but it'll involve some great sacrifices. I'm prepared for that. There's no other way around this, and Shannon's still out there too. Let's just focus on gaining control of Yeet. Everything else will start from there. Alright, let's see what we got. Kutuzov, he drops a bargain ring if you didn't inherit it, but I inherit it, so screw him. He has a Jormungar, 
then you will get a Fenrir if you take too long to kill him. He's a Dark Bishop, which is a promoted Dark Mage, which are these losers here. They're all level 1, but it's still pretty tough because their spells do so much damage. This is Patty! She's the daughter of, um, Jamka and Bridget. She's a thief! She's gonna be okay. She would have been better if I paired Bridget with Holland, but that's not a, you know, that's not a canon pairing, so screw that. Shannon is back! And he's ready to kick some serious butt! He's... You'll see what makes him so awesome in a little bit. Remember Finn? He's back too! And he's got a mullet! Yeah. He kicks butt, but he's outclassed by everybody else, really. This is Leaf. This is Quan and Ethlin's son. He's got the bargain in pursuit ring, so he can really take it to him. And we're out of time.